He was the last surviving member of one of France's highest military honours, the Order of the Liberation, and one of the 1,038 decorated for their heroism and bravery by President de Gaulle. Born in Paris in 1920, Hubert Germain walked out of a naval entrance exam and fled to London to join the resistance, just as France fell to Germany in 1940. I thought about it for five minutes and said to myself, what are you doing here? If you pass, you'll become a naval officer obeying German orders. That was against both my own and my family's principles. So I got up and handed back the paper. I said, I'm off to war. A member of the French Foreign Legion and Free Forces, he fought in Libya, Egypt and Tunisia, before also taking part in the Mediterranean D-Day landings in 1944, aiding the Allied forces to liberate France from Germany. Post-war, Germain joined politics, serving as a mayor and government minister for over 10 years. Even at the age of 99, he participated in war commemorations, his uniform decked down with all his medals. It's important that the younger generations understand that if there was combat during World War II, it's because men and women stood up to defend the values of our republic. They need to understand the sacrifice our elders made to give us the free country we have today. President Macron has announced that a memorial ceremony will be held in Paris in the coming days, and another on November 11th when France celebrates Armistice Day.